here's the deal. For those of you watching this who, who dig what I do, who have heard the message that I've been promoting for the last year and a half against this social justice nonsense and this collectivism over the individual and the oppression Olympics and all of this stuff, this is actually a win for us, right? This, the things that we have been talking about, about judging people individually, not by groups. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. Get out of my country. Get out. This it's is not my, about I'm a, you. I'm a U.S. citizen, too. Well, whatever. No, Univision. When Hillary Clinton says this is a racist attack, and you reject that, if you are saying he can't do his job because of his race, is that not the definition of racism? No, I don't think so at all. No. no? No. He's proud of his heritage. I, I respect him for but that. But you're saying he can't do his job because of it. Uh, look, he's proud of his heritage, okay? I'm building a wall. Now, I think I'm going to do very well he's with Hispanics. Citizen. You know why I'm going to do well with Hispanics? Because I'm going to bring back jobs, and they're going to get jobs right now. They're going to get jobs. I think I'm going to do very well with Hispanics, but we're building a wall. He's a Mexican. We're building a wall between here and Mexico. What kind of place do I want to live in? Do I want to suppress free speech or not? What do I want to do? Of course, I am for free speech and for expression. I don't know that you will ever find anyone that is more for that than me. So but I think the New York Times is one of the most dishonest media outlets I've ever seen in my life. The worst. The worst. The absolute worst. They have an agenda that you wouldn't believe. And they're run by incompetent people. And one of the things I'm going to do, and this is only going to make it tougher for me, and I've never said this before, but one of the things I'm going to do if I win, and I hope I do, and we're certainly leading, is I'm going to open up our libel laws so when they write purposely negative and horrible and false articles, we can sue them and win lots of money. We're going to open up those libel laws. So that when the New York Times writes a hit piece, which is a total disgrace, or when the Washington Post, which is there for other reasons, writes a hit piece, we can sue them and win money instead of having no chance of winning because they're totally protected. You see, with me, they're not protected because I'm not like other people, but I'm not taking money. I'm not taking their money. So we're going to open up those libel laws, folks, and we're going to have people sue you like you never got sued before. This was a win for us. Right? Swastikas, homophobic insults, graffiti daubed on a church in the U.S. state of Indiana. This is one of more than 400 hate crimes recorded in the United States since the election of Donald Trump. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, this type of racist and bigoted harassment and intimidation directed towards people from minorities have been rising sharply in the last week. I'm excited for what the future can bring. I think there's opportunity here. This one is a political ideology based on a religion. So this is a political system that we are facing and we must defeat this political system. I think there's opportunity here. What's up, buddy? Oh, uh, now I'm a buddy. Hey, Trump. Trump all the way. Trump. Cause, was, hey, cause, was, hey, check this out. Hey, check it out. Hey, check, no, I got you. Because black lives don't matter. There ain't no proof. Just because you say something don't mean nothing. Wow. Prove it. I appreciate it. Hey, check out. I, I if black you lives matter, if, hey, I'm talking for you. I, 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 I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, 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 I appreciate it. 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 So black, uh, lives, no, black, black lives, lives don't, don't matter, matter because you got a problem in traffic. No, black lives don't matter. No, the problem with traffic was you were right behind me, sped up and drove around me, jumped in front of me and made me slam on my brakes out of light. That makes you a nigger. Oh, that, that, and that proves, that, that's check it out, that nigger. proves that black lives don't matter. White lives matter. Do that. I appreciate you sharing your life story, sir. What life story? Hey, 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 let me handle it. Be a woman. Black people were bought by a contract and we got ripped off because y'all should have got returned when it was evidence and proof that y'all couldn't do anything. So because y'all live off welfare. No, 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 no. no. Let me answer your question, you nigger. Who, uh, what makes nigger. You, you no appreciate clue. that, nigger. All right. Hey, Trump, Trump all the way, Trump. I think there's opportunity here. To be white is to be a striver, a crusader, an explorer, and a conqueror. 
we build, we produce, we go upward. And we recognize the central lie of American race relations. We don't exploit other groups. We, we don't gain anything from their presence. They need us and not the other way around. Within the very blood in our veins, as children of the sun, lies the potential for greatness. That is the great struggle we are called to. We are not meant to live in shame and weakness and disgrace. We were not meant to beg for moral validation from some of the most despicable creatures to ever populate the planet. We were meant to overcome, overcome all of it, because that is natural and normal for us. The press has clearly decided to double down and wage war against the legitimacy of Trump and the continued existence of white America. But they are really opening up the door for us. America was, until this past generation, a white country designed for ourselves and our posterity. It is our creation. It is our inheritance, and it belongs to us. Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! <laughs> This was a win for us, right? I think there's opportunity here. There's opportunity here. This was a win for us, right? I think there's opportunity here. This was a win for us, right? I think there's opportunity here.